Hi, I'm Willie. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for being here. If this is your first time here, please consider clicking subscribe and hitting that little bell notification icon so you can be alerted when I upload a new tip, trick, or configuration tutorial video. And if you're a returning subscriber or viewer, thank you very much. I appreciate each and every one of you. So tonight what we're going to do is we're going to talk about something that came up in a security scan. Um, and that is someone had an edge switch out on the internet. Didn't have a common username and password, but it got flagged in a scan because by default SNMP is enabled. So this particular person needs SNMP disabled and I'm going to show you. So I have my edge switch here that we're going to switch over to and I have factory defaulted it and I'll show you how we know that it's factory defaulted. So let's uh, switch over to that. So here it is. Here is the edge switch. Um, and I'm just going to log in with the uh, default credentials. Okay, so this is not the interface that we're looking for. We are looking for the the legacy interface, but I wanted to show you that this is default. It's just grabbing a DHCP address, so we'll go up here and we'll go to legacy interface. Now, when the legacy interface comes up, you will see, you know, we have to accept the uh, license agreement. They should probably do this on the new uh, <laughs> web UI as well. So UBNT, UBNT, I agree to the terms of this license agreement, and we're going to log in. <clears throat> now, happens to be that this person has a public IP address on their switch. They are not using UBNT, UBNT for the username and password. And it is, it's pretty common for switches to be, to be on the internet in, in certain scenarios. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to system, we're going to go to advanced configuration, SNMP, and we're going to go down here to server configuration. And by default, you're going to see SNMP server mode is enabled and it is on standard port 161. We're going to click disable on that and click submit. And then what we're going to do is we're going to click save configuration to copy from our running to our backup as well. And we'll just make sure now saving it. Um, should do this, but I, I am just going to do this here so you can see that this option is available to you. So that should do it at that should do it at this point. Um, SNMP should now be disabled to the public. If it's not, then we've missed something. But it should be as easy as going in there and turning that service off. So if you've run into this same situation, that's where it's at. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe. Please comment and share. Please follow me on Twitter and Instagram. If you need IT consulting, go to willyhow.com. Fill out that contact form and someone will be with you as soon as possible. If we can't help you, we'll get you to someone who can. That's our promise to you. If you'd like to follow us on Discord, the link is down below. If you'd like to become a patron and support us on Patreon, and thank you to those folks, that link is down below. And as always, we have the Amazon affiliate links down below. It doesn't change your price, but it does kick a couple bucks to the channel to keep things rolling in. Once again, I want to tell you that I appreciate each and every one of you, and I'll see you in the next video.